It's 90.3 KEXP. We stream all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson, and it is a very exciting Saturday here at KEXP because uh, we have none other than Dum Dum Girls here in our KEXP live room. And in Dum Dum Girls, if you are ready, take it away.
awesome. That song is called In the Wake of You from Dum Dum Girls Live here on 90.3 KEXP. The song before that is called Are You Okay? Are you guys okay? How are the Dum Dum Girls today? <laughs> Doing well. Yes? Did you like that transition? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Dee Dee said I had a, ver- a radio voice. She can't see me. I'm actually interviewing the back of her head. She's facing away from me, and she heard my voice and said I had a radio voice, which is actually what I've been trying to avoid my entire radio career, if you will. Oh, faded. I can't help it. Uh, but thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Can we introduce the band, please? Sure. Um, I'm Dee Dee. I sing and play guitar. I'm Jules. I sing and play guitar. I'm Andrew. I play guitar. I'm Sandy. I play drums and sing. I'm Malia. I play bass and sing. (laughs) Awesome. And uh, Didi, you started this, what, 2008-ish? Yes, I created a MySpace page on 420-2008. Perfect. And the first recordings, was that something that you did all by yourself, or did you have a band back then as well? Uh, Yeah, it was just a sort of self-recording bedroom project, uh, which evolved... Over the years, um, the first record on Sub Pop I recorded in that same way, and a notable fact, um, Andrew, who now plays guitar with us, actually played guitar all over that first record, so he was kind of the first... Dum-dum girl. (laughs) Nice. The first (laughs) dum-dum? Yeah. Uh, How did you guys meet, Andrew? In San Diego. Actually, her (coughs) husband's husband and I were in a band, and we played with Kristen's old band, Dee Dee's old band, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And um, we met and became friends. You're oh, fired. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> so it looks like you're not going to Portland tomorrow. Yeah. No. First and last interview. <laughs> well, it was fun. It was nice knowing you, man. You seem, you seem like a really nice guy. It's a shame. <laughs> Any internships open? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an assistant position open if you would like to be. Just like logging into the play- online playlist and stuff, if cool. you don't mind. Okay, good. That. Awesome. I got a room for you, too, if you need. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, you guys uh, just recently, you guys have done a bunch of late night television. You uh, just recently got done doing Letterman. You've done Fallon. Did you do Kimmel, too, at some no, point? No, no. Yeah, we've only done the two. Uh, now, how nerve wracking is that? Very. For me, I don't, uh, I don't experience the stage fright issue I had for most of my life at shows as much. Right. Um, but television is still like the new frontier, and mm-hmm. I get so physically nervous that it affects my voice, and it's just a real it's kind of a nightmare trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody fe- feels agreed. similar. Totally. <laughs> it always ends up sounding good, though. And you guys always look impeccable. I've been watching uh, <laughs> your guys your live shows for years now, a few years. And I saw you guys uh, open for the Vaselines. Is that why the band is called Dum Dum Girls? Did you get that from the Vaseline song Dum Dum? Yeah, partially. Um, I was sitting in my studio and uh, had just made no, hadn't yet made the MySpace page and was trying to figure out what to call the project. And um, I just saw that record cover, actually, and thought that phonetically that sounded like a fun a fun name um, and then was reminded of the song Dum Dum Boys um, mm-hmm. by my husband, Brandon. And he didn't name his band Dum Dum Girls, and so I named mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, It was like a moment where we weren't sure if he right. was going to keep it or... Be generous. And you guys are playing Numos tonight. Yes. And uh, Blouse is also playing yes. with you guys. Uh, Blouse, awesome band yes. as well. So tonight is going to be a blast. Everybody, go see Dum Dum Girls tonight at Numos. I've seen them at Numos before, and it's a blast. You guys are going to Portland tomorrow for the Doug Fair, except for Andrew. <laughs> uh, the Independent yep. in San Francisco on Tuesday, and then you guys are doing Co- Coachella. Is this your first time doing Coachella? Yes. Are you now? That is going to be ama- amazing. Yes, hot for sure. Sweaty. Sweaty, hot, sticky. All my favorite adjectives. Yeah. Drug filled. All the ways I love to feel while playing. <laughs> are you excited at the prospect of possibly a hologram showing up? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine who else could join our band at this point. We're pretty big, but um, I'm excited for Outcast. Yes, uh, it's going to be amazing. Well, uh, once again, thank you guys so much for stopping by KEXP and taking time out to perform for all of our listeners. And if you guys have a couple more songs, we'd love to hear it. Cool. It's Dum Dum Girls live here on 90.3 KEXP.
Dum Dum Girls live here on 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org. Dumb Dumb Girls, live here on 90.3 KEXP. That song is called Trouble Is My Name, and Coming Down is the name of the track you heard before that. The new album is called Too True, and I highly recommend picking it up. The vinyl copy is uh, the way to go, in my opinion, but, you know, buy it offline if you have to. (laughs) But uh, excellent job on the new record, too, you guys. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. I I love it. And real quick before we go, uh, a legendary producer produced a good chunk of this record. And uh, can you tell our listeners about him? Uh, Richard Goddard. Mm -hmm. He's produced every single uh, Dum Dum Girls record on Sub Pop. And uh, he's my muse. No, um, (laughs) (laughs) he's a very, very fun 
um, producer to work with, very enthusiastic. That's probably, aside from his obvious talent for having written some of my favorite songs and mm-hmm. produced some of my favorite records, uh, he is not jaded in any way for someone who's worked in the music industry as long as he has it's it's an incredible feat wow. um, and it's contagious yeah uh, so we like to keep him around fantastic and did you also get to work with Suna Rose Wagner from the Ravenettes yes he has also worked on uh, most of the records since he get me hi- he gets me high he's been he's been uh, producing as well um, and yeah he's a an obvious huge talent and uh, mm-hmm. a good friend as well Yes, and he he always looks so cool. I made the mistake of, <laughs> of taking a picture next to him, and I'm never doing that again for my oh, for my yeah. self esteem. <laughs> I kind of looked like he looked like him, which was rad, and then I, and then I looked like the Pillsbury Doughboy or something. <laughs> it was a horrible thing. Anyway, uh, dumb dumb girls, thank you so much again. Thanks for stopping by and playing for KXP. Remember, get the new album Too True. Go to Numos tonight and watch Dumb Dumb Girls and Blouse. And uh, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank have you. a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks for listening. Dum Dum Girls live here on 90.3 KEXP.